Hello, today I'm going to show you how to configure your IB camera with iSpy. So we're going to Google this iSpy Connect as it should be the first choice. Then we're going to download the software. I'm going to download the 64 bit from my PC. Now I'm going to install it. There are here two files. The bottom one is for netframe.4. Uh, it would be required to run iSpy. And the top one is iSpy software. So I'm going to go ahead and install it. So I'm just speeding up this part. Now my software is ready. We're going to launch it. And now it's giving me a security alert, which is a Windows firewall. And I'm going to block the public network and just enable the private network. And just this is just a plugin warning. And before I add a video, I'm going to click on settings, storage, and I'm going to click add, and I'm going to click on directory, and I will choose desktop for now, then I'm going to create a new folder. I'm just going to call it recording and then I'm going to click on it and then select folder and I'm going to change the storage size what is the max size of the folder and the number of days then I'm going to click OK then I'm going to delete the default storage location and now I am going to add a new camera okay so I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to click on ONVIF camera then here I'm going to just enter the username of the camera and the password so my username is admin and I'm going to enter the password for the camera and here I'm just going to make sure it's RTSP selected and to verify this have to make sure it is actually enabled on the camera software so I need to go to the cameras uh, I need to access the, ca the camera to make sure it's enabled so I'm just going to log in with my username and password and then I'm going to click on device config and here you see the camera is working I have installed it outside So device config, click on system and then net service and then I'm going to click on RTSP, double click it and then it shows here it's enabled and the board for it is 554. So I'm just going to click cancel. Then I'm going to go back to my iSpy and click on scan network and as you can see here it has found my camera I'm just going to click on it and it should show me the available video resolution of the camera I'm going to click the top one 
and I'm just going to click OK and now it show me the video of the camera in the background and now I'm going to enter just little information like the model or anything and I'm going to click on motion detection and here actually can configure the sensor which is really really good I really like this about this program and you can actually choose the recording mode for it as well okay so it's now it's set on record in motion detection and you can choose the size of the video and the videos format then I'm going to click on storage and as you can see here it's in a default folder that we have chosen earlier and here you can just enable the storage uh, management size and we'll just change it and press finish I'm just going to double click the video so I can have a bigger image at the bottom here this is the motion detection area so I'm going to test it right now and as you can see it's detecting the movement and it's glowing red that means it's recording now and once it finished recording the video going to show down there and I'm just going to go directly to the folder that we have created earlier and play the video and yeah it's working really good so pretty much you can play around with the software and configure it the way you want it to meet your needs thanks for watching